Hello everyone, welcome back to Brampton. Uh, this time we're making a visit uh, the first week of March 2013. We had intended to have uh, an early season visit around this time, but with the season the way it is, so much work to do on farm, uh, we felt it would be uh, far better use of, of everyone's time if we took a video of the situation, which you can uh, view in the evenings when you're not so busy. Uh, it's been dry for the best part of nearly a fortnight now. Um, it's quite cold today, but we've had some decent temperatures too. Things are just uh, waking up. We're here today looking at the deal seed rape trials, uh, which I'm uh, pleased to say have been uh, very successful so far for us. Uh, this entire field was uh, planted with the new microwing machine that we've developed uh, with Cousins over the last two seasons. What we're trying to do now is, is enter a phase of the work we're doing here at Brampton of incorporating everything that we've learnt, uh, everything we've developed, uh, to try and show you uh, uh, how all of those things come together and give us the, the best possible effect, both in growing good crops and controlling uh, black grass. I don't need to tell you it's been an extremely difficult season uh, this year, so we've certainly got some, some areas that are problematic to us uh, this year and we'll visit those a bit later in this video um, but we're not um, we haven't got any problems with the with the oil seed rate the soil type here is is quite a heavy well-bodied uh, uh, cow carriers clay um, in fact this particular field is split into two zones we've soil zoned the whole site uh, and and certainly we are we're learning that everything works uh, together now um, soil zoning uh, that certainly gives us an indication of where the black grass is likely to be as well uh, and where we might need to apply different management to get crops established better and this field is certainly split into uh, a two distinct zones a, sa a sandy uh, sandy loam um, and a uh, quite a, a heavy calcareous clay as we've got at the top end of the field where we've established the trials because the black grass uh, grows where the the clay soil is uh, so within this field, uh, having established it with the, the microwing, um, and we established it on the 23rd of uh, August, we've had to drill it because we were setting up a trial. We would normally uh, drill uh, at a slight angle, maybe 30 degrees to all the previous wheelings when using this type of machine and then use the old, utilize the older tram lines uh, to spray the crop. But because we were establishing a, a trial, uh, we've had to uh, go with the existing tram lines from from last year so you know one or two of the legs are coinciding with quite a nasty wheeling from last last summer um, so it's not a perfect situation as we would have uh, under nor normal commercial uh, drilling type situations but nevertheless we've got uh, pretty good establishment from using that uh, that technique this season we're looking at two varieties in here uh, one is a semi-dwarf D06. Uh, we felt last year that using D06 uh, or that type of variety, a semi-dwarf, sown early at high seed rate uh, would give us good suppression of black grass, so we tried to do that this year. Of course, completely different season. Rape, particularly on heavier clay soils, even drilled the last week of August, has been pretty reluctant to grow in the extremely wet weather throughout the, the autumn and winter period. Um, we've sown it in at 80 seeds, we've also sown it in at 40 seeds. We've then switched to a conventional variety uh, called Kite. Uh, that did uh, well commercially on the farm here, so they um, home saved some seed, which we've utilised. Uh, the whole field here surrounding the trial has been drilled with Kite, and half the trial has been drilled with Kite, again both at 80 and 40 seeds. Overlaying that, we've also utilised some placement fertiliser, a product called Primary P, which is a microgranular fertiliser, applied with the seed uh, down through the same pipe, so it's, it's in close proximity to the seed when it's sown. And that's a high uh, phosphate fertiliser, nitrogen phosphate, sulphur, uh, some magnesium uh, and zinc. Um, and uh, we'll do some close-ups of that shortly. Um, that's given us much more consistent establishment of the crop uh, throughout the autumn period. 
got necessarily bigger plants, but we've certainly got more consistent establishment down the road uh, from using that placement, that placement fertiliser. Over the top of all that, looking at the blue uh, pegs just behind me here, we've then oversprayed uh, all of those um, sown plots with various herbicide treatments. Again, absolute focus on, on black grass control. <coughs> and here we're looking at uh, all of the, the um, active ingredients available to us in controlling uh, weeds in, in oilseed rape. Uh, and we've started from this end, we've, we've gone with a, a straight range of um, simple uh, pre-em treatments, um, all the ones that you'd be familiar with, uh, looking at things like uh, metazoclor and centium. And what we've also then introduced um, is uh, a, one of the residual products uh, at various timings, including pre-emergence. And we seem to be getting on extremely well. Uh, with that residual product focused uh, um, totally at black grass. As we move up the trial area, then we start to sequence the products until we get to the far end where we've gone uh, pre-em, October treatment with residual and November treatment with residual um, with uh, uh, graminicide in, in the middle to take out um, wheat volunteers. We used Aramo on this occasion across all the plots uh, and that's taken out some of the black grass as well. In fact, it's been reasonably successful. But at the far end, where we've gone with a sensibly well thought out sequence, we've got extremely good levels of, of black grass control. Uh, and we'll have a look at some plots in, in close up in just a moment uh, to show you the sort of levels of, of, of black grass that we've got, uh, both in untreated and in the, in the control areas.